So, Rajan, uh, quite a ball game here. Can you talk about jumping on San Antonio early? Um, well, first, I got to give uh, credit to our coaches. You know, we were prepared this morning, scouting report. Uh, told us some key things we need to do to beat San Antonio, and that's what we did tonight. We listened. We finally listened to the scouting report. You finally listened to the scouting report. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last game, last couple of games, we were making game plan decision mistakes. And um, tonight, it was a big emphasis just to follow the game plan and continue to stay solid, game plan discipline. Yeah, just solid defensively. You know, we worked on, you know, we, we take a lot of pride in walkthrough as far as getting things right. And we were able to come out tonight and do exactly what we did this morning. Roger, can you talk about the bench tonight? Can you discuss what the bench gave you? Um, well, when you say bench, uh, you know, Doug played well, but the big fella, Chris, was, uh, he was excellent tonight. Came and, came and gave us a big burst of energy off the bench. And uh, like I've been saying all along, you know, it's the team game. You know, we're not going to point the finger when, when we're losing. Uh, when you win, it makes everything better. Uh, game plan discipline. You know, I think we were, um, I think they're one, I think we're two as far as uh, playing without fouling. And the last couple of games we've been losing, we've been getting away with that. But tonight we were able to execute and uh, go out without, and play without fouling. When you see a team come in, they've won 13 games in a row on a road, were you thinking, like, what are they doing it's so good, or what do we got to do to beat them? Yeah, I, I did. I did uh, myself. I actually watched a couple of games. So there's, you know, they're they're very disciplined. Uh, they're solid. You know, they're consistent in what they do. So uh, I think that's why they were 13 and 0. But tonight we came out with a better edge. I think we had a better, better flow in the game. You know, I think we. This may be our first time we've had a team to 32 in the first half. So uh, hats off to our defense. We were, we were listening tonight. Bulls TV, we're in the locker room following an exciting victory over the San Antonio Spurs, joined by Doug McDermott, returning after missing 11 games. And uh, Doug, not only for our viewers in Chicago, in Ames, Iowa, in Omaha, Nebraska, and everywhere. Uh, how'd you feel? I felt good. felt good physically. Yeah, I got to get out of Jimmy's way. Uh, you always come when Jimmy gets out of the shower, by the way. But we timed that, by the way, just so it's perfectly timed yeah. with Jimmy walking behind you. I felt, uh, felt great, though. Cardio-wise, you know, no symptoms head-wise. So just great for my confidence to be able to be out there again and help my team get a win. Okay. Jimmy, by the way, since you're right here, how do you think Doug played tonight? Anybody worried about Terrible. Doug, man? Get out of here. Okay, well, yeah, on that he's note. He's I didn't make that shot in the corner for him for an assist, <laughs> but uh, I did get fouled. It's not an assist, though. <laughs> yeah. This is the banter that we love. Yeah. So, But you felt all right, right? I did, yeah, I really did. Um, you know, I think my legs got a little tired just because I'm not used to playing an NBA game, but uh, that'll come. Tomorrow will be a good conditioning day, uh, and the rust, I think, is, is going to be off now. All right. So how important was, was a game, any game, not only for you but the ball club? Oh, it was huge just because, you know, it's the Spurs. They haven't lost on the road. They came into our arena, and we did a good job of, you know, keeping them off the free throw line, which they're really good at. And uh, even when Jimmy didn't score in the first half, we still had a pretty big league. So that's a really good time for us. So what is it about games such as this in Cleveland where you're on such a big stage? You're on national TV. I mean, the NBA landscape, everyone's watching, and this Bulls team always rises up to this level. Yeah, we need to do it every night, though. We were talking about that. Go ahead. Uh, Jimmy's got, no, Jimmy's no, Jimmy got, got it. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, where were we at? So it's something we were talked about after the game. You know, D-Wade got on us. Like, we're only getting up for the big games. We need to get up for every game, even if it's not just on local television. Uh, but we'll get there. Uh, we got a mature bunch. And, uh, you know, I think we're going to go on a nice little run here. All right, Doug, thanks. And thanks, thanks for all this. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for timing this up.